hope everyone is staying safe in these crazy times and quarantining themselves if they need to be. My name is Jonathan Chester. I'm the CEO and uh, co-founder of Bitwage. Bitwage is the leading crypto payroll and invoicing system on the market. We have customers in over 100 different countries, and we've done over $100 million in transactions to date. The way that our system works is that companies can sign up and they can fund payrolls or invoices to employees, freelancers, or vendors, and they can pay it with either fiat currency or cryptocurrency. Those workers can then choose to receive their pay in whatever currency that they want. Alternatively, those employees, freelancers, contractors, vendors, they can actually sign up to our platform without their clients or employers signing up. They can receive fiat from those clients or employers, and then they can choose to get whatever percentage of their pay in crypto or fiat that they want. Since the beginning of the year, Bitwage has begun to accept Liberland as a valid country for the incorporation of companies. So I'm about to show you a demo of how our system works for both companies and workers, uh, as well as how to sign up as a Liberland incorporated company. So uh, check it out now. We are now on the company page. Sometimes when you sign up, you'll still see this setup, but if you've been approved, you can just skip this and you click here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is add workers. So you go, you add workers, you can add employees, contractors, admins, freelancers, or vendors. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go to orders and invoices. You can see that we have one employee here. I want to pay him $1,000 worth of a payroll. So I'll do that. I'll click create payroll. And then I'll be able to choose how I want to pay. So a lot of library land companies don't have bank accounts. So if you are a library land company, you're likely going to want to choose Ether or Bitcoin, but you can also do credit cards or bank wire transactions. I'm going to choose Ether here. Now what you're going to see is the system will tell me how much Ether is required to do the $1,000 payroll. The rate refreshes every five minutes and you can pay with a QR code or directly to this address right here. I'm going to force an amount so that you can see a receipt. This part is just part of the demo system. You won't see that on the actual live system. But once you've paid, you'll see that it's been received and that the payroll's not yet fulfilled. It will be fulfilled later on. You can see the payment method. You will also be able to see the workers in the, in the view worker amounts and you can choose to cancel the payroll order. So that's it on the company side. I will now show you what it looks like on the receiving end as a worker, a freelancer, or contractor. So now you can see on the other side of this payroll is a worker, a freelancer, employee, even a vendor, and they can choose how they want that $1,000 worth of ether to be paid to them. So in this case, this person wants Brazilian real, 100% of that $1,000 worth of ETH to be converted into Brazilian Real. Of course, they can change that. You can go to bank transfer and see all the different currencies and countries available, you know, like euros, pounds, dollars, and other, other traditional currencies. They can also go to digital currency. And they can go and, for instance, add Bitcoin. So whenever they change, they'll click Save, and there will be a two-factor authentication before uh, they are able to uh, save this. And this is obviously for security purposes. So now that I've put in my two-factor authentication, you will see that I want 50% Bitcoin, 50% Brazilian Real. And I can, of course, change it to be 25% Real and 75% Bitcoin, for instance. Um, and there we go. One interesting thing to note is that workers on the platform, freelancers, employees, vendors even, uh, who do not have companies that are paying them on the platform can still use us. Um, and we do that by generating bank accounts that they can provide to the people who are paying them. So let me just show you real quick how to do that. Um, let's say you are a, a Liberland dev shop doing work for Google. So you can do Google Web Development here and 
you can generate bank account in US dollars, uh, also euros, pounds, or other, other currencies. Um, and you generate that account, you give it to Google, Google pays fiat USD into that account, and then this Liberland dev shop gets Bitcoin, Ether, Euros, whatever, whatever they like. Um, so it works even if the company that's paying is not on the platform. Um, so now a question that probably everyone has is how to create a Liberland incorporation on the Bitwage platform to use this. So I will show you this now. We are now on the Bitwage homepage and I'm going to show you how to sign up and create a Liberland company. Now note if you are a vendor receiving funds, you would click individual, but if you're paying, you click company. This part right here is for the administrator. What that means is that although you can go and you can click on Liberland here, it doesn't really work. So you have to actually choose a country for the administrator that is not Liberland, like their original citizenship or uh, another country of residence. So pick Luxembourg, we'll fill this out, we'll hit submit. So now we are at the company registration page, and as you can see, there will be four different submission pages. So you'll notice here that you will be able to sign up with Liberland because this is for company registration. So now it's possible, uh, and you'll just fill out this page and you'll go to next. So on the second page, you'll see again an incorporation country. So once again, you will be able to add Liberland here. Then you fill out this information and uh, you hit next. On the third page, uh, you don't have to add any country information, so just put in these details. Uh, once you do, you click I've read and add employer. And on the fourth page, which is the final page, is only information about the administrator. So again, this is not about the company, but the administrator. So again, Liberland will not be an option here. You can see that you can add it, um, but uh, we do not actually accept individual uh, Liberland documentation uh, at the moment. So this part would have to be uh, non-Liberland uh, documentation. And that's it. Once you do that, you add the administrator. Uh, wait one to three days for your business to be approved and you now have a Liberland incorporated entity that is able to use the Bitwig system.